In this tutorial, I'm going to show you where to find your MailChimp API key and your list ID, which is also called an audience ID. And if you have any questions or comments throughout this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to show you where to find the API key, and then I'll show you where to find the list ID, which inside of MailChimp is called the audience ID. For the API key, go down to your logo or whatever it is, your symbol down here in the bottom left, click on it, and then click on account, then click on extras, and then click on API keys. Scroll down, and here are your API keys listed right here. If you don't have one yet, there'll be a create a key button. Click on the create a key, wait a few moments, and you have a brand new API key. I don't believe there's a limit on API keys, so you can have as many as you want, and you want to make a new one for each integration. So if you're integrating MailChimp with Zapier, for example, or some other automation software, make an API key for that and set a label that says Zapier, for example. And if you want to have an API key to integrate with Elementor on your website, click on create an API key to make a new one. There's our new one. Let's label this Elementor. You can even add the website name if you have more than one. So that way you can keep your API keys organized. If one of your API keys is compromised, as in somebody got it, that means they now have full access to your MailChimp account, which is not good. You want to disable that API key as well and make a new one. So for example, if this one was compromised, you just click on status, disable it, and now that one's crossed off and gone. Now we make a new one and we type in here again, Elementor WPLearnLab.com. And that's now the new API key for that website. And I have a separate tutorial linked to in the card up above and the description down below where I show you how to integrate MailChimp with Elementor on your website using an API key just like this. So that's your API keys. Next, our audience ID or list ID. To find that, let's click on audience on the left. And to make this work, you actually have to have an audience. I have an audience made here called WP Learning Lab. If I go to manage audience and then settings and then go to audience name and defaults, I see my audience ID right here. This is also called a list ID. That's what it used to be called in the olden days. People still call it that. But MailChimp updated it to call it an audience ID. If you have more than one audience, you want to make sure you're on the correct audience page. Make sure the audience name right here is the one you're actually looking for because the list ID will be different for every audience you have in your account. And the list ID you use for example, if you integrate with Elementor or a different page builder or some kind of funnel software, whatever list ID you enter, that's the list that people are going to be added to when they sign up through that software where you added this audience ID. So to recap, make sure you're on the correct audience because the audience ID will be different for each one. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which has all kinds of tips and tricks on how to use MailChimp more effectively in your business. So make sure you check out that playlist if you want to be great at using MailChimp. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.